I got to say, man, this uh, this Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War has a uh, special place in my heart. The channel did very well while this game was in its life cycle. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. I've even gone as far as saying like, I would even put this in my top five Call of Duties. One thing about this game that was like really bad was the skill-based matchmaking. It was through the roof. It was like every game, every single game. It was like uh, you're playing like for some kind of championship title. And you're gonna see that in today's video. You're 100% gonna see that in today's video, man. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are back in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War in 2024. Teammate, alive. He's up. I don't know why I have this chopper gun. I just realized. Hang on. Teammate, good. Oh, this guy here? All right, they got him. They got him. Guys, come on. No, what? Show me the replay. Oh. Hang on. Yep. Yep. Jesus. Lost. Oh, come on. Let me shoot. Don't act like you're AFK, bro. I know you're not. I know you're not, bucko. Oh, I can't believe I missed. Oh. Well, how did I miss that? Looking through the weapons that are available here through the assault rifles and the SMGs, you could clearly tell that they did not give a shit about the other categories. I mean, we got a bunch of SMGs, we got a bunch of ARs, but we only got a few TAC rifles. We only got uh, four LMGs and we only got five snipers. I totally forgot that the shotguns were a secondary in this game. I did not remember that until just now. How the hell did you guys add more melee weapons than sniper rifles and LMGs? Oh my God, they did have the nail gun in this game. That's right. Oh, that's good stuff. It's, it's nice to see stuff like the nail gun back in this game. I should have used it in today's video. Damn it, I already recorded the gameplay though. And I just want to thank whoever let me use this crossbow as a secondary option. The problems that I got out of <laughs> because of this thing. guy over there Did he die i don't even know if he died Not a lot of range with this gun unfortunately oh oh god i had to reload you got me i tried to hit fire too Where are you going? <laughs> oh, uh, slightly to his left. Come on now, bro. What are you doing? 
I missed. Uh, I don't know what's I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Okay. <laughs> Did they really use an air patrol on that on that UAV? Oh god. Poor guys. Oh, that's a lot of hits, bro. What was the inspect for this again? I forgot. I know it's like, oh, the cat comes out, right? That's funny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta do it to him. Gotta do it to him, bro. Come on. It's pretty crazy looking at the loadout and just seeing the fact that you could put on all of these perks with without like any cons really i mean you could just uh, you just use the perk greed you could rock all these perks it doesn't really affect you in any way like i would even go as far as saying that you were at a disadvantage if you weren't using uh perk greed i mean the only time i really found myself using like anything like gunfighter was if i was trying to do a specific like like class setup you know one of the things that's highly debated in this game where I, I think it's a universal thing within black ops cold war is that a lot of people i don't want to say universally hated but a lot of people hated the uh score streak system i personally wasn't a big fan of it i did love the fact that i could always get like a harp every single get an advanced uav every single game if i wanted um because the streaks it didn't matter if you died even if you died you could still like earn towards the next streak like yeah staying alive it helped obviously but you didn't necessarily have to go on a kill streak in order to earn your uh you know your score streaks my opening kill is about to be this crossbow right here watch oh dude They're attacking so aggressively right now. Relax. Oh, I ran out of bullets. That's on me, man. Ran out of bullets. It's okay. I gotta get my lick back. I gotta get my lick back. Why those footsteps sound like they're right next to me? Oh boy. What? Oh no, I'm going I'm going off right now. I'm popping. No. No, not like that. Come on. Teammates. Yo. If I hit this. Now, what you what you need to do is uh, lock the hell in because they can easily make a comeback. That's what you need to do, but I ain't tell no one. Should be more, should be more. Damn, I should have had that. I knew he was there too. Oh, you're you're wildin' for that one. But I like it. One shot. Alright, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> Harpy Darpy. Oh, oh, he jumped out. Oh, I like this kid. 
I like this kid. He plays aggressive. I respect it. You're garbage. Look, look, he's looking for him. He's waiting. You're trash, but I respect it. One thing I'd love to see in, you know, future Call of Duties is the gestures. I think that's, I think this stuff was really great because some of them were, re were like really unique and they were just fun to have. So I'd love to see stuff like this back in the game. Hey, I covered a lot of goddamn bundles here within this game. Probably one of the most uh, famous ones is the Scream Operator bundle. I mean, so many people went after this bundle and... And I hope when it was available, I hope you guys got it because it was truly one of the best bundles uh, to draw for Cold War. But these bundles were some of the best bundles, I think, in the last, in the recent couple years. These bundles were really, really special and they all had good value, at least I could say. Not all of them, but the majority of them had really good, great value for the prices that they were, you know, dropped for. And, you know, next year is Treyarch's year. Once again, coming right around the corner is Treyarch's next game. And uh, hopefully they, uh, hopefully they do right by us. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, folks. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War in 2024. It's nice to see that this game hasn't lost its ability to make you feel like every single match is for the CDL title uh, because, holy shit, the skill-based matchmaking is through the roof, man. You know, something that's really special is that this is probably the last Call of Duty to look and feel the way that this one did i believe cold war was on an engine that vanguard didn't use and and all these other games moving forward did not use this was one of the last games to be on whatever engine this is so this is definitely a special call of duty it holds a special place in my heart i mean with the youtube channel here while this game was active uh, and while i was uploading content on it i think we grew uh, within a year i think we grew around 20 to 25 thousand subscribers if i remember correctly uh just throughout the year which is a lot for me that's uh, it's a lot for me yeah fun game i i really enjoy this game it's a lot of fun it's a blast to play and uh there's a lot of action and people are actually trying to go get kills it's fast paced i mean I, I really enjoy this game a lot let me know what you guys think about black ops cold war let me know if you guys still play this game uh to this day let me know all right well ladies and gentlemen if you guys are brand new around here if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and drop a like on today's video it would really help out any comments questions concerns please let me know in the comment section below if you guys are thinking about getting any control freak products you can always check out their website link in the description below you can use code uh, gray. I was going to say YT gray. You can use code gray at checkout over at control freaks to get, I believe at the moment is a 15% discount off your order link in the description below. If you guys are thinking about getting anything from G fuel, you can always check out their website link in the description. You can use code YT gray over at G fuel to get, I believe at the moment it's a 20, 20% 20 discount off your order. They have a bunch of different flavors, hydration packs, uh, tubs, shaker cups, cans, a lot of stuff over there. And of course, if you guys are thinking about getting a new controller for PlayStation, xbox or pc highly recommend checking out aim controllers link in the description below you can use code gray or just click on the link and the discount should apply automatically uh, make sure to give us a follow outside of youtube on our social media platform tiktok twitter instagram snapchat links to everything in the description below and i'm going to call it there for me today you guys all right thank you so much for watching till the next one my name is gray peace